hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple strip. What's good, everybody? All right, so Richard Sherman. Oh, there's gonna be a couple of clips because he said a lot of stupid things. Um, previous last week. Um, even after the game, after the game, proving him wrong. But here's the first clip. It's Richard Sherman, good morning to you. Can you make any case the Ravens are better than the 49ers? No, no, I cannot. No, I cannot. Skip, and you know why I cannot. Because the San Francisco 49ers are the best team in the National Football League, and they have been for the majority of this season. Yeah, Richard. This is the one human in the National Football League who can rise above even the 49ers at the 49ers. He would have to have a very special game, and I'm talking about a four-quarter game where he was just magically on fire with arm and legs. But he is capable, and they got picked to pieces by Joe Burrow. Lamar is capable of doing the same right. thing. He does it a little different way because he's going to do it with his dart throwing arm and his legs. And last night, right. he was just sensational with both. I mean, with both. Do not discount the dart throwing. Yeah. That, and, right. and it's incredible that he, even after that first guy comes across his shoulder, the old Lamar Jackson is gone after that one. You're not going to touch me against you. Now he's running around this end. He's gone. Not this Lamar. This Lamar put his eyes right back Very up field point. and said, where can I throw this football? That is the difference, and that's what makes the Baltimore Ravens a dangerous football team that Lamar Jackson yeah, is playing like. But, but the, the San Francisco 49ers would pray, hope, and believe in a game plan where Lamar Jackson sits in the pocket. I guarantee you, if, okay. you, to, if you told Steve yeah. Wilkes that, hey, Lamar Jackson's going to sit in the pocket this entire game, he would say, hey, sign me up for that. I, I've seen Lamar Jackson play at an MVP level. I'm sorry, Skip. I've seen it. And, and the Ravens fans were upset because it was like, he's not an MVP candidate right now. With, with 22 touchdowns on the season. I'm sorry. And people say, oh, you're just stat watching. Well, stats matter. Now, you see how he did not want to give credit. Even Michael Irvin, Skip Bayless, they try to try to talk to him. Try to talk to him. Try to let him know, hey, he's special. Like, this is a whole other level. He's special. He didn't want to give Lamar his props. He kept talking about the MVP, which Lamar already pretty much said he don't really care for the MVP. It just be his second one. He already got one. Like it is what it is. But uh, we all know what he wants. We all know what Lamar. Heck, we all all of us Ravens fans, the Ravens team, Ravens organization. We all already know what we want. Now he did still not want to give Lamar his props. So after. The debacle of what the Ravens did to the 49ers. He comes out and says this. And I love Lamar Jackson as much as anybody. I, you know, I've supported him the whole time. If he had his numbers that he had the MVP year, which was 43 touchdowns to six interceptions, 43 total, then we would be shouting from the rooftops, he's the MVP of the league. So you're talking about this team wouldn't be this. First off, we haven't seen them without him this year. So just like you said, no other years matter. He's been a starting quarterback for the Ravens this entire year. So don't make the point that no other year matters unless you, you know what I mean? But Josh Allen has 40 total touchdowns right now. Does that mean he's the MVP of the league? No, it does not. He's accounted for 83% of his team's touchdowns. 83. He, no QB is more important to their team right now than Josh Allen is to the Buffalo Bills. Mm. So you can argue whatever you want to argue. You can walk off because when you walk off, that means you don't have the power to make a conscious argument. And I hear you. The Baltimore Ravens defense had five turnovers last night. So when we watch that game and you watch them play against one of the best offenses in the National Football League and they have five turnovers and you tell me Lamar, Lamar Jackson was the reason they won that game then I, I have a hard time with that because I'm sitting there watching the game. And I'm like, dang, that defense is giving them trouble. Five turnovers. So, again, we talk about every other year before this. Every other year before this. 
every other quarterback. So we're going to go the percentage of touchdowns the quarterback was responsible for. So last year, Patrick Mahomes, 76%. He was responsible for 76% of the team's touchdowns. The year before, Aaron Rodgers, 77%. The year before, Aaron Rodgers again, 80%. The year before, Lamar Jackson, this very Lamar Jackson that we're talking about, was responsible for 74% of his team's touchdowns. And before that, Patrick Mahomes at 79%. But this year, we're talking about Lamar Jackson and the percent of touchdowns he's responsible for is 55. That's not the same. So I like him as much as anybody else. But if you're telling me that nothing from previous years matters, that, hey, we're just going to throw away all logic for MVP voting that has happened in the past five years, then cool, I guess weak stats don't matter. But they have mattered in every other argument. When we talk about defensive player of the year, when we're talking about offensive player of the year, when we're talking about every other category, coach of the year, these stats matter, but we're just going to throw them out now because it's convenient for your argument? I don't think mm. so. So you're talking about a year where the quarterbacks aren't playing well? Then it's probably going to Tyreek Hill or Christian McCaffrey. And they play the Miami Dolphins. I love how you say the stats don't matter when he's been middle of the pack and every category this year. So you're saying the MVP of the league is middle of the pack in every single category, pass and completion percentage, yardage, touchdowns, rushing touchdown. Like what, like you're not giving me anything to say. Usually when the MVP of the league, they're number one in at least multiple categories. There's not one category he's number one in. Mm. So when you're making this argument, Keyshawn, you're not making an argument based in statistics, concrete information that you can hang your hat on. You're basing it off of, you said one game, the eye test, BS like that. I hear you, but that's nothing to argue. Now, Josh Allen. I think he said he's like 86% of his team's like TDs and all of that. That's why you have to watch the game. When he said that, I was like, bro, you sound like Shannon Trouble when Shannon Trouble said Kyle Hamilton didn't play and Kyle Hamilton played. Are you watching the games? Like, be real. Are you really watching the games? So, oh, oh, Lamar only got this many TDs. Do you not see Gus Edwards have 12 touchdowns? Do you not remember when you were in the Super Bowl? Instead of Russell Wilson handing the ball off to beast mode, getting the easy touchdown. Russell Wilson threw that interception. Right there, through that interception. And he remembered that because that is when their dynasty went crushing down. Now, Gus Edwards has 12 TDs. We've seen it in the game on Christmas Day. On Monday, we saw it in the game. For those that has not watched the Ravens, they saw when you're in pretty much the five-yard line, the one-yard line, hand it to Gus. It's like an automatic touchdown sometimes. Majority of the time this year. So Gus has 12. If Lamar was to do that, or throw it, his stats would be different. That's why it is important to watch the game. No dig at Josh Allen. But to say Lamar is not pretty much, to me, he's 100% reason why the Ravens get the touchdowns. Could you get it that close? Just hand it off. Like what? Lamar ain't caring about no stats. He's caring about the wins. To me, the wins matters more than just individually stats. But Richard Sherman is just, oh, I don't know what's been going on with dude. He just been hating on another level. Hating on the, the last time Richard Sherman was in the NFL and he played against Lamar when Richard Sherman was with San Francisco. The Ravens won. I believe 20 to 17. 
I just, oh man, I just don't understand it, y'all. I don't understand all three of them. Mike, Ocho, Sherman. They just all hating. And the funny part about Sherman is Key try to tell him. Mike try to tell him. Skip try to tell him. You got three people trying to talk some sense into you. And you're still being hard headed. I don't understand it, y'all. He kept saying Brock Purdy, Brock. It showed. It showed. Slow down. Well, that when they went on the three losing streak, I believe they didn't have Debo. I think in CMC for a game or two. I think I'm not sure, but I know they didn't have Debo. But you, we've seen what Lamar has done with no weapons. Heck, you saw what he done in the Frisco game with some drops. Still made stuff happen. What was that, third and 16 or something like that? And he takes off for like 30-something yards? Not a lot of quarterbacks can do that. And consistently in games as well. Averaging, I think, 27 I think the Ravens are averaging like 27 points per game or something like that. But I don't know, y'all. That dude is just such a hater. I just. But on to the Dolphins. On to the Dolphins. That's going to be a good game. That is going to be a good game. If the Ravens somehow just dismantle the Dolphins, what will they be saying next? Because I noticed one thing. This is off another topic now. I'm done with Sherman. But I noticed Lamar, a couple of the Ravens players, they keep mentioning that 2019. They're on a whole nother level. Like I seen, if let me, matter of fact, I seen a picture of Lamar. Hopefully I remember to put it on this video. After whooping Frisco, the, his facial expression, he's like focused. Focus, just like after the after the game, you know the cameras in the locker room and everything. What Van Noy said, enjoy it right now. We still have a lot to do. He's a Super Bowl champion. We already know OBJ is a Super Bowl champion. A lot of people, yeah. Blasting OBJ to my, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. He's doing the dirty work. He's doing, he's having fun and he's doing the dirty work. Like, uh, JJ showed this. Hey, if we could run this tape. He, hu he hungry? Right here, you got a hundred million dollars, right? And Nick Bosa, look at him. He ain't even rushing Lamar. Mm. He ain't rushing Lamar because he knows mm. if Lamar Action Jackson escapes out, like, look at the D-line. Yeah. Nobody even trying to really get there. He got all day to throw, and he missed the throw, but look at this. Mm. That's a hundred, that's the highest paid defensive player in the league. He's not even rushing. And then right here, when I tell y'all. Talk to me. The boy got his own money. The boy got his own money. Look, look at this. Yes, I'm out of there, but I want to show y'all, and we're going to pause it at the don't right time. Look at him point at Look at him point at me. Like, I got you. Like, I, that's, that's, the, that's the quarterback. That's disrespectful. Like, I got that's and then, disrespectful. And then I pat him on the head. And then right that's here, disrespectful. I said all week long. This is disrespectful. The thing that the Niners struggle with this is, disrespectful. is quarterbacks getting outside the pocket. It's true. Lamar outside the pocket, finds Gus, and Gus takes it down there inside the red zone. Yeah. Another big time play. And this is why I say... They was not ready for the physicality. Watch Odell Beckham at the top. Oh, yeah, Ward. Yeah. I saw that. Watch him at I the top. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, Get you some. Oh. That's what the Baltimore oh, Ravens. Odell. That's what the Baltimore oh. Ravens brought last night. Oh. They said, y'all disrespected oh. us. We 11 and 3. Oh. They 11 and 3. And y'all got us five. Yo, he hungry. Point you underdog. Just got hey, he is. Yeah. Boy, there's been a lot of clips in this video, but check this out. You see that one, what Lamar did with the point, that was nasty. But you see what OBJ did on that block. I didn't even notice that in the live game. Like, he's doing the dirty work. He's doing the dirty work so other people can shine. 
Hey, so anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you not have subscribed, please do so. Hit the like. And once again, hit the subscribe. Everybody stay safe. And God bless. I'm on a whole different frequency. Yeah. To the point if you meant real, you would tell him that he keeps it me. The vibe on 11 really turned up. Really turned up. Really turned up. Ride slow through the city while the trunk rattle. Knob on 11, baby, turned up. Be knocked, let it hit you with the